just got back from doing my grocery haul and I went to Iceland this week. Basically, Channel Mum and Iceland have sent me £50 worth of vouchers to go and spend at, at my local Iceland. So I thought I would go there this week and uh, do the food shop. Lee's been on at me for absolutely ages to go to Iceland. Um, about six months ago, he bought like a... I think it was like a biryani stir fry or something from there and it was delicious and I always say you know I'll go back we'll go back and we'll do the food shop there but I never end up doing it it's one of them things where I end up just going to the place where I'm most comfortable with and that I'm used to um, I usually do my shopping at Aldi or Asda preferably Aldi because I tend to save more money um, but I've been buying a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables recently and to be fair, a lot of the vegetables don't always get eaten and a lot of it goes ends up going to waste. So I thought that I would like grab loads of frozen veg and stuff and see if we can save a bit of money that way and obviously have like less waste and stuff. So yeah, I will show you what I've got. So to start off with, I got these Greg's um, products. I was absolutely gobsmacked that they even sold like Greg's products in Iceland. So you basically bake them yourself. I got a pack of the Greg's sausage rolls. There's four in a pack of those. Um, I got some sausage and baked bean melts. There's two in a pack of those. And I got some of the Greg's corned beef pasties, there's two in a pack of those, and some Greg's vegetable pasties. These were like four for a fiver, so yeah, I got those. I also got some dried grated cheese, some um, like Branston spaghetti tins. Um, I got some hummus, and I got some coleslaw, and I got some penne and pine nut pasta. Um, these both look really, really good. The, the coleslaw looks delicious. Um, I got two packs of these Munch Bunch Squashums, I think they were like a pound each. Um, I got some King's Mill soft white whole bread and a farmhouse batch seeded loaf. And I got two tins of John West tuna chunks which were, I think it was two for five pounds. And then over here I've got my bananas, I've got some um, baby plum tomatoes, I've got some cucumber and I've got some of these pink lady apples which look really yummy. Um, I've got some Nescafe coffee, I think that was like £2.50 for a big jar. Um, I've got an iceberg lettuce, some Philadelphia garlic and herb cheese, some fruit and fibre, um, some semi-skim milk and some super loops. And then over here I have got um, a ghost chilli chicken curry, um, I've got some pillar rice and i got some chicken masala. Um, yeah, they, they look really good too. I got these bubblegum and candy floss limited edition majestic minis um, I got these they've got all natural colors and flavors in them so I thought the kids would really enjoy those and another thing that I got that really took my eye these triple chocolate Millie's cookies I've got some of these fresh garden peas as well I've got some rainbow carrots a bag of these they're like different colored carrots um, I thought that they might be a little bit more appealing to the boys <laughs> who sometimes don't want to eat their carrots um, I've got some bourbon ribs, these are Jim Beam ones, and Lee picked these up, he was like, should we get these? I said yes, let's get them. Um, and then I got some cauliflower cheese, I got um, some of these clementines, and then I got three jars of the Uncle Ben sauces, because I thought I'd just stash them in the cupboard, and I also got like a free wok when I bought those as well, so I was quite chuffed with that too. Um, I got some cling film. I've got three of these meal in a bag chicken and bacon pastas, um, they do look really really nice um, and I think everyone will enjoy that. I've got some butternut squash and sweet potato, fig, red pepper and feta which sounds really good. Um, I've got some of these Belgian chocolate melt in the middle puddings and these look absolutely delicious. And I've got three milkshakes, I've got the Moo Moo, cho the Moo chocolate, the Moo banana milk and the Moo strawberry milk. Um, and I've got a bag of this Sesty Bean Quinoa, I'm not sure if I've said that right. Um, and I've got some freshly frozen mini corn on the cobs. Um, I've got some sweet potato fries, everyone, I've heard a lot of people going on about these so I thought I would get some, I think, because we all like sweet potato in the house, I, I just thought the kids are going to love those as well. Um, I've got 10 cheesy potato pod cakes, um, some of these pork chutney rolls. And then over here I've got a twin pack of washing up liquid, these are the easy ones um, and they were um, two for a pound. Um, I've got some more milk, I've got some of these luxury Maris Piper oven chips, um, they, look, they look really good. And this is the chicken tikka biryani that I mentioned um, earlier on. I've got some 
crumbled lean ham, <clears throat> some like rye vita, but these are called um, Countdowns, original crisp breads. I've got some sticky barbecue sauce, some Alberto balsam shampoo and conditioner, and I have also got some Walker's crisps. These were like £2.50 a bag, I think, for a big bag. There's loads in there. Altogether, I spent £94, and I thought that I'd spent a lot more than that. When I got to the till, I was like, oh my god, I've spent about like 150 quid because I'd got like a lot of things on offer and a lot of the offers and stuff that they had on I was really surprised about especially on like the Greg's products I had a lot of offers on the vegetable, the frozen veg so yeah I was really quite surprised about the amount of branded stuff and offers they had on on like different products um, so yeah it's been a long time since I've been in Iceland and I think I'll be taking a trip back because they have a huge range of pretty much everything um, so yes thank you for watching and I will see you all soon bye